Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Statistic Pod. It's all happening today, really. Uh, pop smoke is the topic of this this of this episode and the prevalence of gang culture in hip hop. Uh, in hip hop. Now, before I go into this topic, I know how incredibly nuanced this this discussion is. I know how incredibly nuanced the you know how gang affiliations, how all those things are a detriment to the to the black community at large. I myself, I do have to say, I do not know a lot about gang culture. I wasn't actually raised in in that kind of environment. Um, I wasn't even encouraged to go into that kind of environment. I was actually told to stay away from it. From the documentaries I've seen, from the sto- from the, the stories I've heard, from what I actually know about it, it's not something that you can. It, it, it's understandable why they are in that situation. I should say that's my position on it. It's I I do think is um I do think it's coming to a point that it is out of control now, and I do personally think that a lot more people uh in those communities want it gone. A lot of a lot of people want it gone before it was seen as uh, it was seen as li- as liberation because. A lot of these mem- a lot of these gangs, especially the most famous ones, the Bloods and the Crips, they came from the Black Panther Party. A lot of them, and when their leader was assassinated by the state, um, well, not really proven to be assassinated by, by by the state, but it still stands. Like you know, when the leader was gone, they were looking for a way to mobilize, and that's how these gangs started. And yeah, it may, yeah, it was criminal activity. It was a direct reaction to what was happening in that in, in that time. That's why I find I, f- I find it understandable. Um, however, as time grew on, uh, a lot of people are now questioning the relevance of it. Quite usually, when things like this happens, it they always go for the two lowest hanging fruits, which is uh, gang um, va- violence is encouraged in hip hop anyway, or in, or in the media that we consume is always encouraged in in that, and we should tackle that. And um, or it is or it is. Uh, well, I'm trying. I'm struggling to get my words out today. Or it is something that is gang affiliated, and again, we should tackle the gang problem, but. It's a lot more nuanced than that, and when I say a lot more nuanced than that, it is also a byproduct of the environment, and this is this is why I feel like those are the two hanging fruits that they don't deal with the uh, with with the actual problem that's actually going on, which in this case it seems to be a lot to do with uh, jealousy, envy. Even though Pop Smoke did come out a couple of days before uh, no in a, in a, in a song wild and dangerous i think it's wild and dangerous i'm not too sure even though he did come out in that song to say that he is a crip his death doesn't have anything to do to, to seem to su- to suggest it was gang warfare but that's what just because of that affiliation alone that's what the papers are going to pick up and that's what they're going to talk about it was home invasion due to gang related stuff and that's it it's going to be the the end of it and it, I, and it's funny because the daily mail reported this because he said because the police report was saying it doesn't make sense how a, a, a gang from New York would travel all the way to LA when he doesn't even live in LA. He travel all the way to LA and then shoot him dead there and then go back to New York when they could just easily wait for him to come back home. Like that wouldn't make sense if this if this was uh, gang affiliated if, if if this was gang aggressed. It also reminds me of the shooting of Dobie. Uh, because Doby and Pop Smoke, they're not really that different. Uh, one is uh, uh, one is just two years older, which was Doby. Doby was 22 when he was killed. He was actually on his rise to stardom. Uh, he was signed to Hustle Gang Records, uh, TI's label at the time. He was working with the likes of Pharrell, um, who is obviously very, very close to TI himself. And he he was really set to get his life in order. This individual had no gang affi- affiliation. Um, he was actually very loved by his community. He was very inspiring to his people. And all of a sudden, he was shot dead because, and only because of the fact that he was actually getting out of the hood. He was making something of himself. He was tra- he was traveling. He was becoming very successful in the career path he had chosen. And, um, and a lot of people do not like that in the hood. But, 
the attention that Doby Fresh Death should have got from the media to try and say, hey, we need to look at these problems. We need to go into these communities and try and solve the problems that, that poverty usually brings, which is jealousy, which is hatred. Because let's be honest, if you are, it is in our human side, if we are, if we are in a certain situation in which we see someone else progressing, it requires us to have a lot of self-control to not let us do something stupid. Yeah, uh, let me say do something stupid because you do get that feeling. I see, I, I see, I see. You and me, you are gonna get that feeling when you see someone else progressing and you're just in the same place. You feel you you doubt yourself and you also feel contempt for the other person. I'm not. I'm not saying this is applicable to all humans because upbringing does actually influence you upbringing does actually change the way you look at the world if you were brought up in a, in a uh, uh in a different environment if you're brought up in a different kind of setting you could receive the education that would actually uh, uh, help you you know be 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 happier or be grateful that that person is actually getting out of of a bad situation that you both are in um depend again the the Again, but the point I'm trying to make is the point I'm trying to make is usually nine 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 times out of ten when people that are from a deprived area of community and they see one of them doing well, they will start to wonder why not me? That um why is he doing good and I'm working here as hard and I'm not doing good as well? Why does he get to be taken out of the hood? Like, you know, all these thoughts are gonna play in your head and without the Co the correct tools to correct yourself and, and hold yourself back and say hey listen that's his story you know your story is still being written or like there is so much to continue on without that kind of insight being imparted to that person he kind of has no tools to work with and this is where i personally if i i this is where i kind of come to pop smoke because because in the le in the lead up to his death it was revealed that uh, even that his address could have, could have been seen in the shopping bags that he was holding. It was, I believe, it was Prada shopping bags or Gucci shopping bags. I'm not too sure, but he was, but he was um, Louis Vuitton. That's it. Damn, this, so many designer labels, man. It was also re reported that other people. Um, it was also reported that other people find out his address and they were leaking it online. It was also reported, these are Twitter, tw Twitter reports, by the way, but it, w it was also retweeted onto my timeline that the girlfriend, that the girl that he was seeing was the one that was revealing this information to go and get pop smoke because she was getting paid to do so. It's, it, it's, there's so many ways to it. There's so many stories behind this that doesn't even suggest that he had anything to do with gang culture, but I will not be surprised if I see an headline uh, to do with this, to do with gang culture. And in fact, I've already seen one. Uh, apart from Doby being the one person that is like almost similar to Pop Smoke story, we also have Nipsey Hussle, who again, it was again reflects this kind of story as well. He died last year in uh, on on April, I think it was April first, if I'm not mistaken. This is very similar to that because, again, it was it, it was something to do with just pure envy. I, I, according to reports, the guy came over and asked for his autograph or, some, or something like that, and he was known as a town snitch. So Nipsey, Nipsey didn't want anything to do with him. In anger and contempt, he went and shot him. Well, that's a story that I I read, and I don't really know. I don't think any of us actually know exactly what happened in that scene, but that's a story that I know. And um, again, it goes back into the, you know, the the uh, the envy, the jealousy part of or or um that's breeding because of just the environment that they're from. Another story is also Tentacion, who was twenty years old. Nipsey also was thirty three. The uh, XSX was thirty. Um, not thirty. <laughs> He was 20 years old uh, when he was shot dead in his own car. As he got a brand new car, uh, he was shot dead in it. And it was apparently because they were trying to get his, uh, his, his merchandise. They were robbing him, basically. Even when you go, go back to Biggie Smalls and... Um, Biggest Smalls and Tupac, even when they were, this is nothing to relate to that. This is absolutely nothing to do with that. There was no feuds here. But even when you go back to that, because that is so high, 
because that um no not that really long because that's so high because that was so famous back then uh the fame he birthed the east coast west coast rivalry the rivalry be- between these two hip-hop superstars in notorious big and tupac because they died in such a high profile death i really believe that's what create uh, gave gave the media such such a plethora of content to work with because ever since then it's always been this is gang violence this is this is that and it distracts us from the actual root of the problem which i believe to be it is a product of their environment uh, if you listen to people like killer mike if you listen to uh, even Pusha T, you might construe their music to be glor- glor- glorifying their life that lifestyle but speaking especially for killer mike is he is the type of rapper to try and inspire the gangsters to rather use their money to police to actually sell off like to actually police themselves um that's how he wants gangsters to be rather than continue to push drugs and etc uh they would rather uh set set up hospitals set up um uh police stations and do it that way where people come to them legally to get protection where people look to them legally to get protection and they pay them and you know and the same thing with hospitals the same thing with all these things like they could actually make a community within themselves with the money that they've made through the crack game that they have started that's what at least that's what i gathered from the breakfast inter- club interview that he done in 2009 last year last year uh, yeah i should have said that in stuff 2019 to the point of to to the point of what i'm trying to say today is no parent should have to outlive their son or daughter um it is the the, the way that the way that people the way that these stars are dying is at such a rate that it makes one question whether they should even go into the life because the the stars that i've mentioned they uh, except for with the, with the exception of biggie and tupac because that one was a complete different um vain to 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 war bro today in, but in the case of Dobie, that's why gang culture people are calling for gang culture to end i should say um simply because of the fact that a lot of innocent people are losing their lives over this a lot of um a lot of mothers that are having to bury their children before, be, uh, when it, when it should be the other way around um i i, I don't like uh but anyway rest in peace pop smoke if just 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 before I go, I, 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 I want to touch on this. There is also a money element to this because a lot of people, because when you do make it out of the hood, you do become a target. What am I saying with all this? What's the solution to all this? What's the, what's the solution to all this? The solution that I personally, the thing that I personally think that would help all of this is, I, I don't think it's more education. I don't think, I, I think that ship has sailed. I think education time is done. I think... It's one of those ones, and it's quite interesting how Pusha T re- re- removed the track "Hunting Season" that really goes into rappers and talks about them, uh, about him hunting rappers and killing them. In in the light of this situation, that is surprising to me, simply because of the fact that you are allowed to talk about that. It, it's it's art. I don't think art should be silenced in any way. But Pusha T do kind of kind of doing that. I get it. It's out of respect, and I, and I understand why one would do that but in the in, in the day it's what you chose to do if you truly feel like this if you truly feel like this maybe you shouldn't do it maybe you shouldn't actually talk about that kind that that kind of content because once you've done talking about it and put it out there it's out there you attract what you put out if that's what you put out that's what's gonna get perpetuated i i I personally think I personally think a lot more people to do should take a lot more care in what they decide to put out. I think a, I think a lot of rappers should actually make it clear what they're trying to achieve when they put out a song or when because don't get it twisted. I want to see I do understand um that artists want to want to talk about their lives. I'm not trying to censor them in any way. I actually am I'm, I am actually encouraging them to talk about whatever they want even if it is about the gang culture, um, but they should do it construct- con- con- constructively. Yeah, because I actually watched a documentary a while back. If it's, it's, it's on YouTube, I'll link it in the description below. But I watched it, 
And I think it was 1653 mark where uh, one of the ex-gang members, Kirshen Scott, actually said um, actually said that um, they they used to, um, like if you were coming into a neighborhood from out of town and you were wearing gold jewelry, flashing it all off, you are an instant target. And it reminded me immediately of Blueface post because a blue face got a lot of a lot of flag for this and i i don't see why i i i think he's just trying to let you know that you're becoming a target should you do this should you do that i don't think he's necessarily trying to validate the later that the lifestyle but hey with question cost scott's testimony it kind of does it kind of does give us a lot more insight into why pop smoke was a target because he's from brooklyn so what Blueface was saying in, in this instance seems to make sense because of the fact that he is because of, of, of the fact that he's taking the truth of how it works in LA of how it works within the gang culture over there. If you're wearing a lot of jewelry, if you're posing like that coming into LA, you're gonna be targeted, which is to me, which to me is valuable info, information at least if I was going to LA, I would be wearing all black. Oh gosh, I hope there's no gang that actually wears all black. I don't know. I, I I would I would not be wearing red and blue, red or blue. I would not be having any kind of jewelry on me. Not even sunglasses. Um, but anyway, I think that's it for today's episode of the Statistic Pod. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know what your, what your thoughts are on this whole situation. Uh, gangster, is gangster rap to be blamed for this? Is even gang warfare to be blamed for this? Because to me, it just seems like it's just the environment alone. Um, nothing gang related. Nothing to do with music. Nothing to do with, uh, uh, nothing to do with, um, him glorifying the gang line is just literally an 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 environment piece, which is what kind of inspired this uh the, this episode today because this had nothing to do with either gang or um damn damn guy was only twenty man rest in peace Bob Smoke I'm your uh it's your boy T so and I'm out. Peace.